some of the worst fallout from the chaotic redistricting in New York State these past 12 months is tomorrow's Democratic primary in the 12th district, especially encompassing both the Upper West Side and Upper East Side of Manhattan. Previously, two very different districts, but no more. Man, it's costing Democrats a seat in Congress. Two veterans, friends, Carolyn Maloney and Jerry Nadler, there for 30 years in their jobs, now running against each other. Two others are also in the race. Times indeed have changed. Here's N.J. Burkett. Carolyn Maloney held a morning campaign rally surrounded by supporters and TV cameras and explained in detail why she deserved another term in Congress. But when reporters tried to ask questions, the Congresswoman made a beeline to a waiting car. Do you think Jerry is senile? Thank you. Bye bye. Think of the poll Thanks, numbers, everyone. And was whisked away. But Jerry Nadler was invisible today. On the eve of the special Democratic primary, the congressman had no daytime public schedule. In fact, the only candidate taking questions was Siraj Patel, who called his final news conference, and just three reporters and two cameras showed up. But he took every question he was asked. And we project this to shatter records for congressional primary, even in August because we are mobilizing a brand new electorate. Patel is an NYU professor and a former political operative for Barack Obama, who claims support from former Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Nadler has endorsements from the New York Times and Senator Chuck Schumer. Ms. Maloney is endorsed by major women's groups and is trailing Nadler by double digits. I am proud to be in a long line of Democratic Congress women who fought and passed legislation to advance the rights of women. It's been a cringeworthy campaign, with two old friends taking on one another after each urged the other not to run. But they were forced to run against one another when their districts were redrawn, combining Ms. Maloney's Upper East Side District with Nadler's Upper West Side District. Patel has criticized them both for bickering. We are witnessing what happens when power protects power and power cannot let go. Despite Nadler's commanding lead in the polls, the outcome is less than certain. Who's likely to vote? Who's even around to vote? Low voter turnout has a way of turning a runaway into a horse race. On the Upper West Side, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. A very good point. Meanwhile, another close co watch congressional race is the newly redrawn 10th district. There is no incumbent here, and there are 12 candidates on the ballot. You'll remember former New York Mayor de Blasio was in this race, but he quickly dropped out.